G'day mob, I want to talk about Into Darkness, a shadower teleport that instantly moves you behind a monster. Most people think it's inconsistent and therefore kind of trash, but I don't think it quite deserves this reputation. From my experience, there are just some obscure requirements you need to know for the teleport to work. Alright, first, it shares its cooldown with Darkseid, so it cannot be used if Darkseid is on cooldown. Darkseid is kinda unique in that it normally has no cooldown, but for every instance of damage it ignores, the cooldown increases by 3 seconds, up to 15 seconds max. Since Into Darkness isn't an attack, you can use it without breaking Darkseid and triggering this cooldown to begin. The most important part to learn is the range and the target priority. From my testing, there are two search ranges for the skill. The game first searches this orange hitbox, starting from the furthest away and TPs you as soon as a mob is found. If no mobs are found, it then searches this bigger green hitbox in the same way. Take note that there's a decently sized dead zone in front of your character, so you need to be more aware of your spacing against small mobs. Against mobs with larger hitboxes, the teleport should be consistent every time. The last factor you need to be conscious of is that you always move behind the mob. This means there needs to be a platform to snap you to in the targeting area behind the mob or it won't work. Even if there's another valid target in the range of the skill, it will only try and target the first mob found, and if you can't TP to it, then nothing will happen. Now we know how to use it, where should we use it? In Varus Hilla, you're automatically put in the safe spot for both purple spikes and green spikes, but you do need to be careful of targeting the summons. Phase 3 Will has a large enough hitbox that you can dodge every push attack without much thought of your positioning. And in both Phase 1 Black Mage and Saren, Into Darkness dodges the dash hitboxes completely. It's definitely still a niche skill, but I do think it's handy to have as a pocket strat if needed. Let me know in the comments where else you find it useful, or if you know more on how to make this skill even more consistent. 